Big Hill's not only calling the minister alone when the queen is still strong, man. Um, I just want to say, man, that I stand for Ice Cube and the contract for Black America. I feel like we as Black people, anybody who is not, you know, who, who is trying to work on different things for us, and they do it in a way that we don't deem uh, credible, we go against them. We hate on them. We get, we get aggressive. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I feel like we should stand with this brother in the work that he's doing because it's going to require people to uh, work on both sides of the aisle. And I feel like also that we have to all come together and different people, different people are going to have different roles to play. He, he met with both administrations. They reached out to him. The Democrats didn't want to do nothing until after the uh, after the election. The Republicans wanted to get rid of the right thing, and then basically, you know what I'm saying. He, you know, it, it's not. You know what I'm saying. It, it's not. Hey, it's it's. You know what I'm saying. It it, it it's not. Let me align myself. It, it, he got it right here. He's been saying this from the beginning, but because it's not an agenda that's pushing against one party or the next, everybody's going in. But I support, I support and stand by Ice Cube, the contract of Black America, because somebody needs to go out here and put this in a place that had of his caliber. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to make this be political, but I'm just saying as a Black man in America, we have to stand by the people that are standing up for us, especially those who have everything to lose. Ice Cube doesn't have to, to do this. Ice Cube has done it multiple times where he's called out certain groups of people. He's called out law enforcement. He has been on the front lines for us his entire career. So it's just like bringing people together, bringing Bloods and Crips together, bringing folks together. I stand with this brother. I stand with what he's trying to do and what he's trying to accomplish. Instead of Black folks trying to tear him down for having a conversation, it's the same thing that happened with Kanye and Steve. This is like, what happened if, if you basically have a conversation and have, I, I mean, he did right by not taking a picture, but even still, just the news alone, it's just like, with black people, it's just like, oh, no, we ain't done with Trump. It's like, whoever gets in has to be held accountable. And that, and the only way we play the political game is by meeting with their, having people like Ice Cube, having people uh, uh that have the sense, the pedigree, not necessarily Kanye, but you know, people like that, that that don't really know what's going on, that's really not tapped in. Ice Cube been tapped. In, you know what I'm saying? But Ice Cube been understanding and been educating himself. So, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, it's big hills on on your phone, man. Money still long, man. I support and stand with Ice Cube and the contract of I'm not gonna be too long winded on this one. It's big hills on your phone, money still long. And the team is forever, ever strong. And we out. Peace.